So setting our CSS directly on the element in line or adding it as a script block are two ways of adding styling into our web pages. And that's fine if you've just got very small sites with one or two pages. But imagine a site that runs to hundreds if not thousands of pages. Adding CSS to every single page can get quite tiresome. So an alternative is to create a separate CSS document. Okay, let's do that. Let me just demonstrate it here. So what I'm going to do is instead of adding the CSS into this HTML page, I'm going to create a brand new file. So file, new file, and I'm going to save that file straight away. And I'm going to give it a name. So we'll call this one styles.css. So this is important. We need to tell the browser this is a CSS file. Click save. Okay, now this is where we're going to add our CSS rules. So same as before, h1, color red, and our paragraphs, we want those to be green. See how Visual Studio Code is helping me out as I start typing? That's why we really recommend that you use an editor like this. If you're doing it in Notepad, of course, you're not going to get any color or syntax highlighting, which makes work a bit harder. Let's save that. Now we need to link that file to that HTML page, and we do that using a link tag. So if I just go inside my head, now again, this is where Visual Studio Code is going to help us out and write a little bit of code for me. So we'll use Emmet. If I type link and then press the tab key, I'm given a sort of standard HTML link element. So let's just explain what this is doing. We're telling the browser we want to link a file, it's a style sheet, and the location of that file is styles.css because it's in the same folder as this HTML page. Let me save that, go back to my browser, and there we go, our styles have been applied.